Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial I will explain how to store uh, or uh, a base64 string and a byte uh, how to store it as a file in your computer. And if you haven't seen my previous video and you want to know how to upload a file please watch them before this video. So uh, in this video I won't explain how I'm yeah, uploading a file. But I choose a file here, uh, and I want to store. Uh, let, let's choose the file and send it here. I want to store the file in my path called d slash YouTube. And to store a file, uh, this file is sent here. I'm converting it to byte and to a base64 string, so I can work with those two kind of variables. And to store a byte to your computer, you can use a, a library called System. Dot io and in this uh, library library you have a class called file and this is a static uh, class so you do not need to declare it and in this class you have a method called write uh, write all bytes and you need to provide it with a path so I'm copying this path putting it here and then I also need to provide uh, since I cannot we don't have access to the directory we also have to uh, provide it with information what the name of the fi file should be and what type of file it is so in this instance is uh, image dot png uh, it can, this can also be gpg and stuff like that but let's take png and then we need to provide it with the bytes so here I have the bytes for the file so this will create a file in this path for me. But now we have a lot of warnings. Uh, and what is trying to complain us that complain on is that we have this uh, escape character. So it's trying to escape this character in front. Same here, it's trying to escape this character here. So it's saying that something is wrong. And what we can do is add another escape character like this to make it work. Or we can use this this at sign. This will add an escape character that's not being seen for us. So uh, in this folder YouTube, I have no files. So if we continue with the debugging, here now it will create a file from this byte a byte array, and it's called image, and the type is PNG, the extension. So if we check here, we have an image with the extension of PNG. If I open it we we'll see the image. So that's how we do that. But how do we com how do we do it when we have a base64 string instead? Then we can also use the same library dot same class, same method, and we also provide it with a path like we did before. But now we need to uh, give it the base64 string. So here I have a base64 string as we can see here this is describing the file for us but in base64 content and we need to convert this to a byte so we do convert from base64 string we add this we provide it with the base64 string so this will uh, this will convert it to a byte and this will create another file in this path for us so i say image tube so let's look here to have the base64 string is converting it and we store it as an image to in this path and if we look at the folder YouTube we only have one file currently we debug it and now we have two files and we can open it and see it so thank you for watching this tutorial and hopefully this can help some of you guys maybe give you guys new knowledge or something like that see you in the next tutorial bye